Hello, friends. The creatures of the movie Dune were obviously inspired by the living creatures of our planet. In this episode, you'll get to learn whether the worms from the planet Arrakis have a living prototype on Earth and what the most incredible worms living among us are. A hammerhead worm belongs to the tapeworm family and is considered the largest of the existing species and the largest of the worms that live on land. The average individual reaches 40 centimeters in length. This worm is truly terrible. It is hungry and looking for a victim. It is carnivorous and its diet mainly consists of earthworms, but it also devours snails and centipedes. When the worm tracks down its prey, it wraps itself around it like a snake and entangles it with mucus secretions. They contain a small amount of the neuroparalytic poison tetrodotoxin, which is used for protection against predators. It quickly enters the bloodstream. The mouth opening is located closer to the middle part of the lower body of the worm. The mucus that wraps the prey up also acts as a digestive enzyme. The predator simply sucks out the digested internal organs of the victim. Its appearance is also unusual. Its head resembles a hammer. Technically, the fleshy crescent on the front part of the body is considered to be the head. But it has neither eyes nor even a mouth. The tapeworm has no brain at all, only a small nerve ganglion. Instead, the mouth is on the underside somewhere in the middle of the body, and it is the only hole on the body of the worm. That's why in addition to the mouth, it also serves as the anus. The worm can live for several weeks off its stockpiles and can devour its own tissues for food. When there are no earthworms, snails, and centipedes, this worm can eat its own kind. So, it's a cannibal. Worms are hermaphrodites, each possessing both testes and ovaries. A hammerhead worm can exchange gametes with another worm through its secretions. Fertilized eggs develop inside the body and are shed as egg capsules. After about three weeks, the eggs hatch and the worms mature. The coloration of juveniles differs from that of adults in some species. However, asexual reproduction is much more common than a sexual one. Hammerhead worms, like other planarians, are in fact immortal. Typically, the worm reproduces by fragmentation, leaving the tip of the tail attached to a leaf or other substrate, which then develops into an adult. If a worm is cut into pieces, each piece can regenerate into a fully developed organism within a few weeks. Injured worms quickly regenerate damaged tissue. Hammerhead worms are widely spread throughout Southeast Asia. Their largest populations are observed in tropical and subtropical zones of Indochina, especially in Vietnam and Cambodia. They were brought to Europe together with exotic plants, where they successfully acclimatized in a temperate climate. There, they live mainly in greenhouses and botanical gardens. The worms are quite long and can reach 60 centimeters in length, but their size usually doesn't exceed 30 centimeters. Researchers used to fear that land planarians could damage plants. However, it was later concluded that they are harmless to greenery, but then a more insidious threat appeared. Hammerhead worms can decimate earthworm populations. Earthworms are vital because they aerate and fertilize the soil. Hammerhead worms are considered a dangerous invasive species. Some of the methods used to control slug populations also work on flatworms. However, their long-term impact on ecosystems has yet to be fully determined. And here is another inhabitant of the Earth, which looks like it came from another planet, the Bobbit Worm, one of the largest polychaete worms. The size of an adult worm of this kind can reach up to three meters. It has a very beautiful iridescent shimmering body, which is crowned with a terrible looking head with the jaws of the alien. 
the bobbit worm lives in warm tropical waters and leads an exclusively predatory lifestyle. Hunting prey, which is often twice its size, usually very large fish and crustaceans. The worm burrows into the ground, leaving a few centimeters of the body above the surface and waiting for its prey to swim by. As soon as a careless fish is in the throw radius, everything happens like in the movie Tremors. The monster grabs the victim with its infernal mouth and drags it underground. There were cases when aquarium owners bought soil with bobbit worm larvae. The worm grew and began to exterminate fish and living coral. It is quite difficult to detect it since these worms are predominantly nocturnal. Here is what a coral breeder said on one of the forums. I suspected that something was eating my corals because they were fine during the day, but then every morning they were not. One evening, I placed a red lens lamp on the top of the aquarium in an attempt to catch the villains, shrimps or crabs. What I saw caused me to have many sleepless nights. Through a hole in the living stone, I noticed something like a worm, which was about two centimeters in diameter. This worm was coming out of this living rock hole, and it kept coming and coming, and then a little more of it came out. How long was that thing? Suddenly, the worm stopped, and on the other side of the tank, I saw how its head was devouring Ricodia, and not the cheap green one, but the orange one, which cost $25. But the bobbit worm is very short compared to its relative, Linnaeus longissimus. It turns out that Linnaeus longissimus is the longest animal in the world. It can grow up to 60 meters, which means that it can be twice the length of a blue whale and three times the length of a hairy jellyfish. This tapeworm belongs to the group of Nemertian worms, which means sea nymph. This video shows the process of ejection of the proboscis of a Nemertian type tapeworm. According to some YouTube users, it looks like a scene from horror movies, despite the fact that the worm itself is completely harmless. There are about a thousand species of worms known to science, and most of them live in water. The bodies of those worms are long and thin, and can be as little as two millimeters in diameter. Worms have a unique ability. They can stretch to their full body length. If the body is not stretched, then it is about 30 meters long. And since the body is boneless, it looks like a huge tourniquet. The body of a tapeworm is made up of muscles. They pump blood because the animal doesn't have a heart. Worms are considered the most primitive organisms, but at the same time, they are dangerous and voracious predators. In order to catch its prey, the animal shoots out a long tube with poisonous sticky hooks. Many of these worms do not differ in color from the darkness of the water depths. However, some have a rather bright coloring. Tapeworms recover well after damage, and some even reproduce after dividing into parts. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about this episode in the comments. Be sure to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.